Here's a real cool move if you're soloing in the key of A. It's a miracle. Uh, what I'm going to do is I hit a root note, which is your A string. And I'm going to slide into the dominant 7th, which is a G with my index. 5th fret, 4th string. Then my middle finger on the major 3rd. Which really kind of outlines an A7 chord. It's a cool guy chord. you got to be a cool guy to do A7s, man. It just sounds too cool. So instead of doing the whole big old big boomy chord, I'm just going to kind of be a minimalist and only hit less, a lot less notes. Plenty of information right there. Let the bass player do the bass and let the keyboard do the keyboard and the guitar just maybe stick in the middle here. The mid, the mid zone, the mid tone, mid frequencies, less strings. Now, that's very cool. It's kind of this, this mood. Now we're going to shift it to the D9. This is where I think it's sort of it's so minimal that it makes it very cool. It, you, all you gotta do is take it down two frets towards the headstock. So there's your change, like on your D, instead of this big or like a big or or all we do is do a lot less than that. We're gonna just go then take it down because it sounds like a D9 chord there. So we got all right so that's A to D very very simple it's just this little angle shape. Take it down that's your D chord, back up to A. Here's what's freaky. Take it up one fret towards the body of the guitar. Now you got your E7. Or E9. Back to the A7. So with that simple little shape, you can get your three chords. A, D, E to A.